Who is it? Grace, yeah. Grace. Look at this. Grace, what? We have a new bed. How can this one be so different than the other four or five you bought this year? It's just a pen. Cause this is really, really gorgeous. I mean, come on, just look at it. Grace, that's just the box. You haven't even opened the thing yet. Um, okay, okay, um, you got me there. Here goes, here goes. Be prepared to get excited, okay? She's not very excited, but I definitely am. And by the way, don't let her attitude fool you. She enjoys pens, using pens as much as me. And one of the things I'm truly fascinated by as a fairly new pen addict, um, aficionado, is that I've been writing with fountain pens since I was 12 when I got my first Schaefer, but was never a collector of them till now. I didn't see what the fuss was all about. I didn't see what you were already seeing and feeling and what I now know you experience when you get a new pen or a delicious color of ink but also, how you feel writing with one of these beautifully honed instruments. As a longtime creative, I know what it takes to bring your creation from idea to concept to life with your own hands and the tools used to do that. I did it for many years. So yes, I have happily fallen off the deep end. Please do not send anyone to rescue me, including you know who. Let's get to this Goulet pen haul and unboxing. To the overhead. <laughs> so what had happened was I went to edit this video and I could not find the unboxing for Goulet pens. I must have deleted it, cannot find it anywhere. So I have to re-record it. Um, and I just want to show, this is, this is actually the new pen. I'm going to unveil the new pen in this video, but I just wanted to kind of like showcase the new pen and these inks. And um, I want to tell you a little bit about the inks. These four are um, Diatramentus document inks. I want to do a little bit of play with color. So I got fuchsia, cyan, yellow, and black. And I thought, these would be good to start with. I might add the others, um, other document ink colors, but I just want to start with these and play around with them. Um, so those are that those four. And then the other thing I wanted to do was I have this love-hate relationship with brown. I'm not sure why. Brown is always not a, not a, a rich enough color for me. And so I've decided I want to play with brown and I want to play, I want to, gather to me all the grays that I can and that's going to be in a vid uh, upcoming video and so that's part of what these are browns um I snuck in a blue and a green but for the most part these are browns and grays plus you know I was talking about this I finally got myself some um Organic Studios Nitrogen. I, I got a bottle of the thing because I love this ink so much. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use it. But also, I had gotten a couple of sample ink samples of the Iroshizuku Konpeki. And I thought, what the flip am I doing? Just get the ink bottle already. So I have the ink. <gasps> so excited. I just look. I mean, this bottle is gorgeous. I love when they put ink companies put some thought into their bottle. I mean, what is, what is that thing? Look at, I mean, it just, oh, I just love, I love that. Oh, that. And then I started off with Colorverse 
Colorverse Art Cards. I think it's Colorverse Art Cards. And I wasn't happy with them necessarily. So I've decided to get a couple of colorings. And I got the colorings for um, two reasons. I wanted to do one where I just showcase the colors. So this will be grouped by colors only. And then I thought this one would be grouped by um, brand name. I'm not sure I still want to do that, but who knows? It, um, I might, because I'm gathering more inks than I am pens right now. So there you go. Anyway, this is what came in the box. All of this juicy goodness here. I will do a swatch sample of these in a separate video. But what you came here for is dun, da, 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 my new pen. Let me get all of this out of the way and then we will showcase that little puppy right there. Okay, be right there. Be right back rather. Alrighty, let's get to what you came for. My new pen, Visconti. <sighs> this is a Visconti Mirage Mythos, um, the Apollo. So let's get to this thing. Oh, as a girl who loves patterns, who always try to, try to create patterns with um, my quilts, this is gorgeous. Absolutely just, it's like Christmas. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. This is a little pillow to just like keep it all safe. It's a lot of, a lot of, um, oh, look at her. Oh, let's get her out. Let's get her out. Before we get her out, let's just look and see what's underneath. There's a little, oh, oh my goodness. You, you get a, um, this is my first Visconti, so I don't know you, you get this. You get a um, Visconti writing instruments. Nice. And then you just get, oh. Oh, it's just kind of like what, what they have. Look in here for your next pen from, for Visconti. That's what that's saying. Alrighty. Let's get to, let's just get to the pen, shall we? Oh, so freaking gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm, I am, I am floored by this. I am floored by how gorgeous it is. Oh, all right. Let's get to just, let's, let's just take a look at it. I'm going to go have a, another camera here set up so we can get real close with the pen. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that feels really nice. It's a magnetic cap. Oh, okay. Okay, so Mirage Mythos is based on the Greek mythology. The other two pens are Zeus and Aphrodite. There's a Zeus is black and Aphrodite is kind of like a violet purpley thing. But I, I went with this one. This is my first brown pen, too. Anyway, the, um, the barrel and the cap is based on the Greek, um, f the fluted columns. It's so pretty. I love this. The resin is just, oh, my word. So gorgeous. Of course, the, the um, curved Visconti that is printed on both sides. And the finial, oh, look at that. The finial, the finial is part of the whole clip. Is that clip? Yeah, it's okay. I don't clip pens anyway, so that doesn't matter. But the finial is definitely part of the whole clip system. And the bottom, there's the classic Visconti V. So beautiful, so beautiful. All right, let's get to, let's get to how it holds. Kind of 
a little bit deeper. This is, let me adjust my lights a bit. So it has um, the Visconti label, the Visconti V across the end of the cap barrel. Okay, and as I said, it is um, a magnetic cap. Oh, is there, I don't know if you can see that. What's going on underneath here? I don't know if you can see that underneath there is ribs to match here. So they just fit. And if, you, if it doesn't fit, you just twist it a little bit and it fits. So let's get to the nib, shall we? It's a beautiful um, yellow gold accoutrements. And it's the V is all along here as well. Let's get a close up of that nib. And get the V in the nib. There we go. It's a medium nib. So beautiful. All right, how does it feel? It feels it feels nice in the hand. It's interesting that there's no um, there's no ribbing from because it's magnetic. There's no ribs from this a screw screwed on cap. So there's no ribs there. You can definitely feel there's a step down. I don't know if you can see that there's a step down here from there to there so you can definitely feel that a little bit I can feel that a little bit in my in my knuckle area as I um, hold the pen it's a um, number six stainless steel um, number six yellow gold plated steel nib that's what it is so pretty so pretty acrylic resin body that I love the color that is, oh, there you go. You know, now you can see some of it. I love the color throughout. And this one is based after Zeus, who is the god of, if I remember correctly, what I read was the god of music, the god of dance, and the god of archery. The pen does, apparently the pen does post. I see, it posts because it's, it, there's a magnet, there's a magnet thing happening in there. Oh, interesting. But it posts, it posts really loose as you're writing. You can, I don't know if you can hear that. So as you're writing, you're less. I generally don't post my pen, but that's interesting. You can always, you can hear a snap of the cap going on. And apparently from what I've heard, you can change the Visconti, um, the Visconti finial, the bottom finial, and get one that is, I guess you can have it designed or get one of the other ones. You can change that. That's interesting. I, I love, I love a magnetic cap. Oh, so pretty. It feels nice in the hand though. It feels very nice in the hand. It's almost really lightweight. It almost feels better with the cap on. Interesting. All right, I'm going to get this thing inked up and we'll do a writing sample. Visconti, Mirage, Mythos in Apollo. There you go. Alrighty, so I've inked the pen up in, I just got this one in, Diamine Ancient Copper. I've heard such really good things about the Diamine Ancient Copper and I love that color on top there. So this is new for me. I thought it matched quite nicely the pen body. I'm not a person to actually match ink to pen color. I just in the mood for a color and especially for my currently ink, I'm in the mood for a color and I'm in the mood for a pen and I see which ones go together. But this time I thought, let me match the ink to the body. So 
let's see what this pen is all about. So we have the, and remember this is a medium, this is a really medium. Visconti, we have Mirage, oh my God, I am loving this color though. Mythos in Apollo. I'm liking how it writes. Oh, so nice. And um, the ink is Diamine Ancient Copper. It feels, um, I always, it always takes me a while to feel how a pen feels in my hand. And I'm trying, when I test a pen for the first time, I'm trying to not feel the feel. I don't know if this, if this is making sense. I'm trying to not feel as much or take into, I just want to experience the writing of the pen. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's, that's, that's the thing. So let's do... Let's do some reverse writing. It's very scratchy, but it does reverse writing. Okay, that's kind of cool. I wonder if I put... Pressure variation on the downstroke, but not on the cross stroke. It's a very smooth writer. I think, from, if I'm not mistaken, this is a, sh um, what is it called? It's the yellow gold plated nib. I don't know who makes the nib. I think it's Yovo, I'm not sure, but this is a number six nib. And it is, it is so cool. I like I love um, how it writes. I love holding it so far. I will actually try holding it with the cap on. As I said, I'm not a cap, capped or posted cap person. I'm going to write just a little poem that I found. That, as I said, I try not to think, when I first use a pen, I try not to think about all the things that I need to take into consideration as I'm using the pen. I felt the weight of it with the cap on, which is why I tend um, the perlicue. This is part of, of a hand, it's called the perlicue. And I felt the weight of it with the cap on, but without the cap, I didn't. It's one of the reasons why I don't usually post my caps is because it feels it gets to feel too heavy um, in my hand um, this is a beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm going to enjoy loving using this yeah so this is Visconti Apollo it's part of the Mirage Mythos the Greek mythology line I think it's a revamped line if I'm not mistaken but correct me if I'm wrong but yeah this is my new pen. I'm liking it. One of the things I want to do is look at sizes. We're going to look at some sizes. Go out a little bit further. And this is the Visconti. So there, that's the Visconti. The other one I want to hold up to it is the um, Narwhal Horizon which is a really large cigar shaped pen. And the other one is my, um, I was thinking of large pens. This is the Monte Verda Ritma. Large in, as in girth, not large as in um, long rather. So there is the Ritma, the Monte Verde Ritma. And of course I always compare things to these next two because I love these two pens. This is the Va Pilot Vanishing Point. Decimo, 
And then my beauty, I just love those bang, just for size wise. That is the Pilot E95S. And you know, I got to change these two because my brain needs to see. So if I look at, at the pens, the Narwhal is the longest pen I own. But all the other pens, if I had to put this one here, all the other pens are kind of in the same length wise. Um, it's so pretty. I love when I look together at the pens. So yeah, this is Mythos Mirage Apollo. I love this pen. I might actually get me a different finial. I love the idea that I can change that. And of course, um, the nib itself is a nib that just screws off so you can always change it, which is one of the reasons why I got the medium, the medium nib for this pen, because I think I might want to do, I think mid medium is the ones that can be ground down. I don't, I'm not sure about that. I haven't had, I haven't had any nibs ground down. So I might be getting that into the, now, now you're getting it. Um, the architect Italian, am I messing things up here? Anyway, I might have this ground down, but I might buy another one. So there it is. There is the Visconti Apollo. And they're myth, Mirage Mythos series. I am loving this pen. Cannot wait to use it. It's gonna be currently inked for September. Alrighty, there you go. Hey.